The hypothalamus functions as the body's thermostat, regulating and maintaining a stable internal temperature. Fever is initiated when pyrogens enter the bloodstream and influence the hypothalamus. Pyrogens are substances that induce fever by affecting the thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus responds to pyrogens by raising the body's temperature set point, leading to fever. Pyrogens stimulate the hypothalamus to increase production of prostaglandin E2, PGE2. Increased PGE2 within the hypothalamus elevates the body's temperature set point. A higher temperature set point signals the body to increase its core temperature. The body's response to the elevated set point results in fever. Fever is a systemic response initiated by pyrogens acting on the hypothalamus. Paracetamol enters the brain. Paracetamol inhibits cyclooxygenase, COX, enzymes within the brain. Inhibition of COX enzymes reduces the production of PGE2. PGE2 production is reduced specifically in the hypothalamus region of the brain. The reduction of PGE2 in the hypothalamus contributes to paracetamol's analgesic and antipyretic effects. Paracetamol reduces PGE2 levels, leading to a reset of the hypothalamus's temperature set point. The hypothalamus resetting triggers heat loss mechanisms in the body. Vasodilation, or the widening of blood vessels, is one mechanism for heat loss. Sweating is another mechanism activated to reduce body temperature. These heat loss mechanisms effectively reduce fever. The body's temperature returns to its normal range through these combined actions.